Next 11 is your local election headquarters. Tomorrow is primary day here in New York. Yeah, and it's especially important in the city where the majority of districts are heavily Democratic. So the primary winner is very likely who will end up representing voters in Albany or D.C. Yeah, you've probably been seeing a lot of the battle for New York's 16th congressional district in the Bronx and Westchester. It pits sitting Congressman Jamal Bowman against Westchester County Executive George Latimer. Uh, but there are plenty of state-level races, especially for assembly seats that have been hotly contested. PIX 11's Henry Rossoff is live in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, with a look at a few of the big races on the ballot tomorrow. Henry. Well, not unlike New York 16, which a lot of the attention and money has been spent on. You've probably seen the TV ads. You do have several assembly districts where there's progressive champions facing a moderate challenger. That should sound familiar. And there's a notable district in Queens that really has this once-in-a-generation opportunity to elect some new leadership or maybe some old leadership. Manhattan Avenue in Greenpoint, we met several people plugged into Tuesday's Democratic primary contest with strong opinions about Assemblywoman Emily Gallagher. I just feel she's really a part of the neighborhood and has tenants' interest, you know, going for her. I trust her. She has some views that are kind of outlier views, and I don't think the majority of the community agree with those views. Gallagher rose to represent the 50th district with support from the Democratic Socialists of America and other left-leaning groups. Her challengers are Andrew Bodiford and Anathea Simpkins. <laughs> It's a similar story along a bustling stretch of Roosevelt Avenue in Flushing. There's a fiercely competitive Democratic primary here, too. District 40 Assemblyman Ron Kim, a progressive champion most well-known for taking on former Governor Andrew Cuomo, is trying to hold off Yi Andy Chen and Dao Yin in a district that's becoming increasingly more moderate. Meanwhile, over in Corona and East Elmhurst, there's a once-in-a-generation contest to replace Jeffrey on Aubrey in the 35th Assembly District. He's retiring after serving for more than 30 years. Vying for the Democratic nomination are Hiram Montserrat, who was expelled from the state Senate after a domestic assault conviction and later sent to jail on federal corruption charges, and longtime community activist and civic leader Lorinda Hooks. Along Northern Boulevard, we met Bobby Washington. He says the priorities for whoever goes to Albany next should be obvious. Housing, definitely. Housing and jobs. Definitely, I would think they should focus on that. And as things stand now, the few are definitely deciding for the many. Only 46,000 early check-in votes across the entire city. Of course, you have all tomorrow. That's 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the city. Check uh, elsewhere if you're outside the city because location and voting locations may vary, especially after uh, redistricting not long ago. Live in Greenpoint, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News. That was a great layout of some of the other important races out there. Henry, thank you. And one last note on New York 16 race. Henry and Dan Menorino did a great job with this debate. And you can watch the debate between the congressman, Jamal Bowman, and County Executive George Latimer anytime on our website, pix11.com, and streaming on Pix11+.